Hey, how's it going guys? So I just got done with a live stream where I had a subscriber talking with me and he was absolutely fantastic. Huge shout out to low spec Linux laptop. I will leave a link for his YouTube channel down below. Go check him out. He's a fantastic guy. Uh, we had a great conversation about Frox here, which is a portable Z machine interpreter. So it's for Infocom games and other Z machine games. Essentially it's for text adventure games. Um, at least mostly that's probably what you're going to be playing with it. And it's fantastic. So I will go ahead and say, if you're on Arch and you want to get installed, all you need to do is sudo pacman. Uh, it is available, just the regular repos. All you got to do is just rots and then new your password. And there you go. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. But if you're like me, you're sort of interested in text adventure games, but you, you haven't really been introduced into the world and stuff. This right here, I'm going to give you the link down below so you can check out this page here if, if, if you want to you know dive into it see what's going on and i'll also link this down in the description which is an archive of games and so today to get you started off and perhaps get you interested in text adventure games i'm going to show you 905 which is a game that low spec linux laptop uh, recommended to me and it 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 was fantastic it it, it is fantastic you definitely Definitely need to play it. Um, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So fronts, and then all you've got to do is give it a directory, which I have a little directory here, fronts games, and then inside of it, I've got 905. And you just have to run fronts and pass it in the game that you want to run. And here we are. And so I'm actually, I'm not going to play through this at all. Um, uh, well, not at all. I am going to, I, I'm going to do a little bit of stuff. I'm going to show you, um, you know, sort of how stuff works. I'm going to do a basic guide. Really, in all honesty, this is a game that you're going to want to go through yourself because I'm the story in it is very good. It's um, it's very simple. It's very short, but it it's got a good loop in there, and there's also multiple endings, so it's it's pretty nice. But so. We, you started off here in the bedroom. This bedroom is extremely spare with dirty laundry scattered haphazardly all over the floor. Cleaner clothing can be found in the dresser. A bathroom lies to the south while a door to the east leads into the living room. On the end table, there's a telephone, a wallet, and some keys. The phone rings. To answer the phone. You pick up the phone. Hadley, a shrill voice cries. Hadley, haven't you left yet? You know that our presentation was at nine o'clock sharp. First things, f first thing with the printers. Now this, there won't even be enough left of you when Bowman. Uh, there won't even, there won't even be enough left of you for Bowman to fire once he's done with you. Now get the hell down here. Click. Seems like a good coworker to me. Real polite. Like it. Either that or we've just royally screwed up. Hmm. Let's see. Get out of bed or wait hold on because you haven't played through this i'll just go ahead and say you're most likely being like well i probably need to go to the bathroom to get ready go to bathroom see it does no you might put in the wrong so don't really worry about putting in the wrong thing you're not really going to have a problem with that um you'll need to get out of bed first okay so get out of bed cool go to bathroom all right. This is far from luxurious, but it's still quite functional bathroom with a sink, toilet, and shower. The bedroom lies to the north. So I'm going to go ahead and play this like I played it the first time, just to show you sort of the stuff that you might run into and you might think something's going on. I mean, I don't know. But so if it, uh, at first I was like, well, I probably need to take a shower, right? Take a shower. It's going to tell you it's a generally good idea to take off one's clothing. Ah, so here's something I'll show you. You can just type in inventory. Which I was wondering if you could just do this. And I typed in inventory and, you know, it works. Oh, I can spell inventory, right? All right, so we've got some soiled clothing, a gold watch. All right, so we'll take off. Oop, take off clothes and watch. All right, took them both off. Cool, okay, okay. Um, now let's take a shower. Oh, carrying your possessions in the shower is a bad idea. So we need to drop, watch, and close. All right, now we can take a shower. 
All right, you step in the shower, turn on the water, and within a few moments, you feel like a new man. But no time to doll. You hop back out, uh, or you hop back out again and dry off in record time. So you sort of get the idea. I'm not going to go through this because the story does get really good, and I don't, I don't want to ruin any of it for you as it is a text-based adventure game. So literally, the text is the story, and that's the whole point of it. So I'm not going to ruin it for you. This is just, it, it's something really neat. And I've been looking um, at getting into text-based adventure games. And this is just, this is a phenomenal uh, game for you to play as your first text adventure game when you're starting to get into it. Highly recommend this. Um, again, came from a recommendation from the Linux, la uh, excuse me, uh, the Low spec Linux laptop. I almost said low powered Linux laptop last night. But his channel's down below. Go check him out. He's a fantastic guy. Um, yeah, I, I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully, this interests you or at least piqued your interest. You know, if it didn't or if it did, let me know down below in the comments and hit that like button. It really does help. Also, by the way, if you want to support me, all the content that I make here, go over, check me out on LBRY, and you can tip me in LBC, uh, the cryptocurrency of the platform is based off of. You'll earn it for doing different stuff over there. It's a fantastic alternative to YouTube, and be quite frank, it's better than YouTube. Go over there. You'll be pleasantly surprised at how many creators are over there and how many awesome ones you might not have heard of are over there. So, yeah, check it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.